go through a lot of gas, but you know what, guys? I got the gas. I got gas for days. Oh, by the way, um, I have a correction. CORRECTIONS! What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 Hype Train. Let's play Hype Train! We are on the rocket train tomorrow, so I hope you guys brought your tickets. The Hype Train is leaving the building. I just need about 25 minutes of your time. So, um, some people were asking, why Mars? Why Mars? And my first reaction was, well, why not Mars? And then, one of my longtime viewers and commenters, Jenna, came up with an idea that Mars is the Roman god of war, and we are at war with the zombies. So, you know, there's a little bit of connection there. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I like Mars, you know, Matt Damon, uh, you know, awesome. Just awesome. Anyway, guys, um, last video was Horde Night. If you missed Horde Night, you should definitely go back and check it out. My game stage was 1667, and it was incredible. My base was um, just... I don't want to say anything about it. Go watch it. It was a, it was an exciting horde night. There was explosions. There was fires. There was chills, thrills, suspense, romance. Um, okay, well, there was no romance, but um, all the rest is true. So go watch it. Anyway, today we are going to be dealing with our underground area. We are going to try our best not to collapse any buildings. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So um, you can see right here we skipped a day. I uh, took day 64, and I did a lot of off-camera work. I, um, let me see what I got here. I actually got a lot of shale. <laughs> I've actually cooked some shale already. I must have had about 1,800 shale, maybe. I don't even know. I don't even know how much shale I had. I just had a ridiculous amount of shale, right? I went to the shale mine, obviously. Um, I cooked a bunch of it into gasoline. We still have a lot more left. I'm making some in the gas barrels. It's going wonderfully. Oh, this freaking shotgun turret. Seriously. Oh, my God. All right, you guys. I'm right here. I'm right here. Leave my shotgun turret alone. Leave it alone! Come on, you freaking punks. You're not even worth freaking shotgunning. Look at you. Look at you. How am I getting such little ragdoll crappy uh, hordes with uh, my game stage so high? I've, you know, what's up with that? Where is my game stage, actually? It should be pretty high. Yeah, we're almost at 2,000. It's kind of a weak horde for that game stage. Um, anyway, there we go. All right, so let's just finish up these guys here. We got a lot to do today. We got to, uh, one thing we want to do is we want to definitely repair our um, blade traps and maybe even turn them on. You know, maybe have them on all the time. I've got enough gas, right? Why not? Is there any reason not to? Actually, that's a really good point. Let's, uh, hmm, uh, we'll deal with that later. Let me show you what I've been up to. All right, I've been dealing with screamers, okay? One of you guys brought up a really good point, all right? And it's, it's a really great point, and I'm going to talk to you guys about this really quickly. Um, okay, so here's the deal, guys. Uh, someone said, you don't, you can't build with your forges on because you want to deal with screamers, yet this base is designed to not have to worry about screamers. And it's a great point, right? I can't build the base, um, if I got screamers coming in on me all the time, because it's just, I can't, can't do anything. I can't get anything done, right? So that is a problem. And, um, you know, I really don't have a solution for it. Uh, you're kind of right. You're kind of right. Now, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, the best thing to do, I just want to say this right off the bat, because I think a lot of people don't think I know this, um, but I was doing this, like, a long time ago. Um, I just don't do it anymore. I'll probably do it next season. But what you want to do is, wherever your base is going to be, go put your forge somewhere else. Like, if my base is going to be right here, I'd probably put my forge on top of this building right here. And just keep your forge away from your building. It's that simple. All right, then you can run 12 forges at once, and it doesn't matter. Put a couple spikes around your forge area, or put your forge area underground. It doesn't even matter. Um, I don't tend to do that, because I kind of feel like the screamer mechanic is a... Is a it's a mechanic that I feel like the, 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 the fun pimps want us to deal with, and I kind of feel like putting your forges away from your base kind of sidesteps them a little bit. But you know what, man? F screamers. I'm so freaking sick of screamers, man. Like, um, I'm going to do it. I don't do it every season, uh, you know... But I think we're going to do it next season. I won't do it this season. This is already, this season's already well underway. But I think next season I will put my forge um, away from my base. So I don't have to deal with the screamers and stuff. Um, yeah, because if, if, you, if you make a... If you make a okay, if you're making a base, you're working on it. So you can't have screamers walking in on you. So you can't run your forges. All right? And if your base is finished, then you don't really need to be in the area. I mean, like, then it's kind of end game at that point if your base is finished. I really like the idea of my base is never being finished, but that's just me. All right, enough of that. Um, yeah, it was a great point. And uh, next season, I'm definitely going to put my forges away from my base just so I don't have to deal with this these freaking headaches. All right, um, but some things I did want to set up to uh, take care of some screamers. I'm thinking maybe some uh, turrets on the corners, possibly. So I got a turret right here covering this end. And I've also got a, oh, by the way, I've got some wires uh, connecting to the shotgun turret below me and two rifles, two uh, rifle turrets on two corners. 
So we've got like pretty much two parts, two sides of our base kind of protected against screamers, but that's only half our base. All right, now we've got some peace and quiet, um, finally. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you what I've been doing uh, between videos. Um, because I actually did quite a bit of work under here, okay? I went ahead and dug underneath here. I put some support things right there. I'm going to support the walls. Um, I'm thinking, like, everything underneath my base is going to be 3x3 three three hallways. And then I'm going to leave everything else alone. I'm going to leave that extra dirt there for structural integrity. Should not be a problem underneath my base. All right. What I, what I did also was I came over here. And this is going to be the layout for underneath each one of my... Um, the pillars holding up the, uh, the alpha ducts, right? I'm going to have one uh, support pillar right here. Then this is going to be open. This needs to be open because I need to be able to get underneath it. And then I'm going to have a support pillar here, support pillar here, support pillar here. And that right there is where the fence goes. All right. I'm um, not really sure if you kind of understood exactly how that worked. Let me, uh, let me go up there and talk to you about it from the top, just in case you didn't get it. Because I kind of want you to understand the way I, I you know, decided to uh, deal with the structural integrity issues. Okay. So basically, what it's going to be is we're going to have a pillar here. A pillar here, a pillar here, and a pillar here. Now, I'd really like to put a pillar here, but I can't, like I said, I can't do it because I need to be able to get in between this to put the fences up. That should be, I mean, more than enough structural, structural integrity, though. I mean, it's, it's not even a lot of stuff over top of it. So, it should not be a problem. And what I do is when I come down here, I actually worked down here during the night. It wasn't that bad. When I come down here, I just kind of plug it up, like the areas that are open with a little, you know, frame and it, you know, keeps me safe. So anyway, I did that for that pillar. I did it for this pillar setup. And over here is my, is my, um, my tower. All right. And this is exactly how I'm going to do the tower. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set this stuff to up down here, just like this. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll go. Okay, so that'll go right there. Let me get rid of that. Okay, and we're gonna set this up just like this. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upgrade all of these, right? And then I'm gonna put a uh, little, uh, uh, what do they call archways here? So it looks nice. And then this is how I get up inside the tower. And then I just I need to decide where I'm gonna put the fences because don't forget the fences in the towers are what's gonna connect. In between the pillars of my base so i need to decide where the fences are going to go in here i haven't decided that yet to be perfectly honest I'm not really that concerned about it we'll figure it out it's not going to be a it's not going to be an issue but that's that's basically the setup that's what i wanted to get done so i think that is uh i think that's going to be great so all we need to do now is we need to get over to the next tower and solidify that and every time we hit one of these pillars we need to set up a set up a solidification there solidification uh um structural integrity uh i don't know uh pillars i guess is what you would call them so um let's get to work i think i might also get some airdrops today you can see there's two airdrops on my map i don't know what happened i definitely heard an airdrop but i don't know why i got two of them um so that's pretty interesting and uh we're gonna come right through here yes we are okay so what we're gonna do is this one's gonna go right here I was just uh, putting wood there for the time being because I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted to put. So actually, I don't think I had any rebar stuff on me at the time. So that's probably why I put wood there. You got to make do, you know, you got to make do. All right. So let's come over here and then we do it like so. That right there has got to come out. No, actually, I think, uh, yeah, this part right here needs to come out. Right, This right here is where the, or where the fencing is going to go. You know, I think I'm going to have a hard time like getting the fencing up here so i might have to make some kind of some kind of staircase coming up here maybe because um when you dig down a rock it's pretty far down but um i will worry about that later that is not really anything to be too concerned about um i want to have this thing i want to have this thing ready for next uh next horde night got knows on my game stage is gonna be you know it's kind of funny i'm worried about my game stage 32,000 and my next horde night's not till day 72 or 70 sorry um 70, right? Yeah, 60. Uh, yeah, it was 63. Yeah, it was 63, right? God, I don't remember. Yeah, it must have been 63 because it's only a couple days ago. Anyway, God, my memory is just shot. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, I need to have this ready for day 70, and um, I, this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. I really need to do the upstairs part before day 70, but I'm doing down here because it's harder. Um, I'm not sure which part I want to do off camera. I'm gonna start doing some of the building off camera just because it's taking so long, but I'm not sure what part I want to do off camera. So, all right, there we go. And yep, that's that's the setup. All right, let's continue going. All right, so now we're gonna go this way. 
Hmm. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, so how far is this gonna go to the tower? I don't know. Is this gonna go to the tower? I'm doing chipmunk voice, so I like to sing. Yes. My singing's terrible and get the chipmunk voice going anyway, so what's the difference, right? Am I right? Alright, so let's uh, look up here. Yeah, that should be. No, actually, this. Okay, there we go. That's it. Okay, so we get this down to stone. It's stone, right? Yeah, it's stone, because I want one shot of dirt. No way not the one shot dirt with this freaking thing. This this, uh, this auger is a monster. So since I'm doing the chipmunk voice thing right now, I'm gonna play around a little bit. I'm gonna try and talk a little slower. So let's see. I'm I am from New Jersey, so talking slowly does not come easy to me. In New Jersey, we do everything fast, and especially talking. I work at a train station with people who are going into the city, New York City, to work. They are in a hurry. They are they're ready to rock. They I had one guy today in the bathroom, and. <laughs> Stopping that weird part. I had this, there's this one guy in the bathroom, and another guy needed to use the bathroom before the train came, and he was getting impatient. So he started banging on the door really hard, and they almost got into a fist fight. It was hilarious. Ha 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 ha. Man, that's gonna sound so weird in chipmunk voice. <laughs> I love this very chipmunk voice. And for those of you who do not like chipmunk voice, I don't worry, I will use it sparingly. Okay, so we got that one done. That should be good. Let's go ahead and break through this now. Okay, come on, break through this. Come on. Come on now. We gotta break through the stone here. We gotta break through the stone. There we go. Looking good. The next part should be the tower, I think. I don't know. Should be the tower, I'm guessing. We'll see. Let's see what we got up here. Yep, tower. Now we have now we need to now we need to find the corners of the tower and get structural integrity pillars down to the stone for that part. That doesn't look right. Hmm. I'm gonna actually go up there. <laughs> Chipmunk voice! Don't worry guys, I will not overuse it. I don't know if you can understand what I was saying, but um yeah, I won't overuse it. I really like it. I love listening to it. I think it's hilarious, but um I think more people than not liked it, but the people that didn't like it really hated it. Like they sounded angry about it, which, you know, kind of surprising. But um, they said they did not like it. And the people that loved, liked it, loved it. So, <laughs> I was thinking, some people were saying, I can't understand what you're saying. So, I thought maybe talking in a slower voice, <laughs> it's probably going to sound so freaking weird. All right, so how is this? So that's the corner. Yeah, so that's the corner. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, let's do this corner first. No, 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 let's do this corner first. Okay, there we go. So that is the corner. Just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to make sure. So now we gotta dig down to stone. Man. Go through a lot of gas, but you know what guys? I got the gas. I got gas for days! Oh, by the way, um, I have a correction. Corrections! Alright, so. I said that you make biofuel in order to make the, uh, the gas from the... Uh, what do you call it? The animal, th the, 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 is it, it's animal fat, right? Yeah, the animal fat, right? Nope, 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 nope. They took that out. I, they might even taken out last season. I, I don't usually make it with that stuff. Um, oh, you hear that? That might have been a screamer. Oh, if that was a screamer. Let's go check if that was a screamer. I know it's stupid to, I should probably keep working, but I want to see if that was a screamer because I really like the idea of having rifles that will take out screamers. It might not be a screamer, though, because I am not running a bunch of forges. Is she still alive? Son of a Wait, is she still alive or not? I can't tell. It was definitely a screamer. Nope, she's not alive. Cool. Yeah, so the, uh, yeah, rifles, man. Sniping, sniping screamers like a boss, hells yeah. All right, let's, um, you know what? Let's come up top. I think I want to finish those. I think I want to repair those blade traps. I was supposed to do it, and I completely forgot. So we need to clear out our inventory and go uh, repair some blade traps. Man, these blade traps are pretty expensive to uh, to repair, but, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, they, they do work, and I really should leave them on during the day because they could also help take care of screamers. There's no reason not to leave these on during the day. Yeah, there we go. That one didn't break. So how many did we lose? Like, a couple? Like one? I think we lost two, right? Did we even replace them? I don't think we did. I don't think we done did. There's one. Uh, there's two. Okay, that one's probably always going to get lost. I might even... You know what? I might even leave that. Well, actually, it'd be really good for when... Uh, that one would be really good for when zombies are coming in for the door. The outer door. But the problem is, it's going to get broken so quick. Like, I mean, it's, it's almost not even worth it. It's not even like I could repair it. Like, while well, the zombies are coming in, because this is all going to be covered up. Maybe I should put um, poles down on this side. Put poles down. I I didn't like the idea of poles in here, but if it could help me defend my doors, then it might be worth it. And if I could repair that blade trap, it also might be worth it. So, something I'm going to have to think about. 
All right, I'm gonna put that, got that. Okay, so we lost two. And again, that, the one with that door, man, that's gonna be a hard one to keep up. That is gonna be a really, really hard uh, uh, blade trap to not lose, man. Whoo wee. Okay, well, that is okay. Um, we didn't even use that much stuff repairing. I mean, it's okay. I got eight blade traps waiting too. Um, so let's hook up. Let's hook up these blade traps. And then I think we will continue working underground. I think we're going to be working underground for the next few videos. Although I'm thinking about doing it off camera. I'm thinking about doing some more loot runs. Um, my, my loot run videos did pretty well last week. So I'm thinking, you know, a little bit more exploring, a little bit more loot running might be the way to go. Um, I think you guys are pro... Ooh. I didn't even think about putting it on the walls. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. That's going to get blown up so fast, though. Oh, my God. That's so cool. Uh... Right. Oh, the seeker. Uh, I can put one there. Come on, get that, get that freaking torch off the wall. I could put one there, <laughs> one there, <laughs> one there. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Why not? The hell with it, right? Actually, I should probably put one there. No, I can't. I can't. Oh, uh, if this was just a little wider, it'd be so much better. That's okay. They're still gonna get hurt on that one. Screw it. Why not, right? You only live once. Unless you're the zombies. Then you come back a bunch of times. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and hook those up. Well, that took a lot longer than I thought. I'm glad I paused the video. <laughs> uh, let me show you what I've got going on over there. Actually, I probably just should have went up from this side, but that's okay. We're going to go up from the inside. And I will show you what's up. I made a... Uh, made, yeah. I think of some things I want to do here. All right, so let's come on out here and show you. I've got a... Uh, I've got the line coming down from that one uh, all the way down into the one in the middle. The middle goes out to the sides. The sides go to the one on the left, the one on the right. The middle one goes to the one in the middle. Um, let's turn these on. Let's see if the generators can handle this. That's the only thing I'm a little nervous about here. Let's see if the, how the generator does. And yeah, yeah, okay. It's, it, it's working. It's working. Man, that, that door is going to be a freaking chop shop for the zombies. Oh my god. They are not going to enjoy themselves in there. But they can go to hell. I don't really care. All right, so we got gas for days, so we're not going to worry about that. Let's just, um, let's go get the airdrop, and then we'll finish off the video by working underground, man. The underground part. Um, let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? Do you want to see the underground work, or would you rather see loot runs? Um, because the underground work, I mean, I, you know, I'm a big fan of building. I like building. I think most people like to see me build. But even now, I'm starting to think, eh, you know, maybe, maybe some loot runs, some bla some. What the, what the hell is a blast? Some brass runs might be cool. Um, I don't know. Thinking about it. I am thinking about it. You guys let me know in the comments. Um, and uh, that'll give me a gauge. You know, I don't do it blindly, whatever you guys tell me. But when you do tell me stuff in the comments, it does give me an idea of what you're thinking. And, you know, take the overall consensus of, you know, how people are feeling and what they want to see. All right, so let's come on down in here. I think those screamers are in trouble if they come in on me now. Like, I mean... Like, they're, they're going to be in a world of hurt if they come in now. All right, so let's go like that. Okay, so that's the, okay. So this goes in the middle. This goes to the other side. Let's get that other side solidified. Get the other side solidified. Yeah. There we go. That's the corner. And we want to just kind of dig this out. Okay, am I full? No, I don't know why there's dirt here because I didn't finish that. Okay, looking good. Other side, so that is fine. So that is stone. If it was anything else than stone, it would break in one shot. That's how I know it's stone, because it doesn't sound like stone, because I can't really hear it, because I have to turn down all the sounds when the freaking auger is involved. Oh, my goodness. Auger's always been an issue since day one. You know, I, I really shouldn't complain. The freaking auger's awesome. I'm just saying. It's just, it's just loud, that's all. Alright, what do we got here? Alright, we should be at the corner soon. I believe that is the corner. All right, so let's get down to to stone. That is stone. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, one more side, and then we can kind of collapse everything in here. Set up the. Uh, do I have everything I need to set up the uh, the walkway up top? I do. Very good. I always like when I have everything I need on me, man. I hate it when there's something I need and I don't have it. Especially when you ever you ever have that thing where. You need something. Yeah, you've had some. Let's say you've had something in your inventory for a long time that you have not needed, and you're like, "Why am I carrying around this thing? 
you know, I might need it sometime, but I haven't needed it for like nine videos and and like what's up with this man it's taking up space i don't know and then i'll end up putting it away and i s you not um we're keeping this family friendly <clears throat> adults you know what i'm talking about i s you not uh every freaking time you put something away then that's going to be the next thing you need guaranteed and it's true not only because it rhymes but it's true the rhyming is oh look at this it's iron it's just what i need more iron right i can't even cook up all the iron can't even cook up all the iron I get. Oops, is this wrong? No, this is right. I guess I put that first one down in the wrong spot. There we go, and you're good. Okay. All right, that's all corners, people. Let's uh, let's take this out. I should have I should have set up all forges before I came down here. I'm gonna run all forges probably from now on. I think with the uh, with the guns up there and the blade traps doing what they're doing, I think I can. I think I can get away with running all forges, even if I get some, some, uh, even if I, even if I get some screamers, it's not a big deal. Um, I got some screamers in between videos, and, uh, uh, why, why, why did that, why did that break? <laughs> I must have hit the rebar frames as well. Damn, that was pretty scary. That's why you want redundancy, people. Alright, I think we're okay, though. Alright. There we go. Very nice, very nice. And uh, where was the... Uh, oh, I got a lot of stuff to break out in this tower. You can see there's a um, there's a walkway going up there. I'm going to have to break out the whole thing. Damn it. Well, I'll do that off camera. Uh, for now, I'll just put... It's, it is on this side, right? I believe it is on this side. Over here. Let's go Let's go check. I'm kind of curious. I'm, trying to, I'm kind of curious on which side the ladder was at this uh, other place. Yep, it was on that side. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to um I'm gonna have to break out a lot of concrete in this one because I put a um I put a walkway up where I didn't want it. But that's okay. You guys will not have to sit through that. Um am I committing to this? That's that's what I'm wondering right now. Am I committing? Now, I was thinking about using pillar one hundreds under here, and I'm still gonna use pillar one hundreds. I just don't think I need pillar one hundreds under the tower. Because if I don't use pillar one hundreds under the tower, I can use um uh, I can use, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, arcs, right? So let's go get some arcs. Come on. You know what? I think we're pretty much done with the auger for this, uh, for this session. So let me put that back up to 40. And let me start up all these forges. I actually kind of want to get some screamers now. I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious on how the base is going to handle them now with the setup I have. All right. Go good with that. Good with that. Why don't we go ahead and grab some, uh, grab some bones. Welcome to the bone zone. Where the bones, man? There we go. Got some bones over here, and then over here I've got some bottled murky water. I only made seventy-five at a time because, uh, like an idiot, I I didn't realize that murky water stacked up to that much. But ooh, did I just eat when I shouldn't have? I didn't realize that. If I did, crap. I thought I was hungry, but I might have been thirsty. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. You can have like a saturation thing in this game, I believe, where if you drink more, if you eat, so, if you eat more than you need, um, it actually goes over it a little bit. I think I don't really know. That's just kind of what how I feel. I think Minecraft had that too, but I don't know. Probably talking out of my ass. All right, so why don't we go ahead and make some glue here? Two hundred twenty-five. Why is that? Because it's all the bottled murky water I have. Okay, we need some more bottled murky water. I will take care of that. In between videos, let's put enough in here for 225. Oops, I mean 20, sorry. 2038 is what I'm looking at. 2230, fine, do it. Make it happen, Captain. All right, so what were we doing other than that? Uh, we came up here for a reason. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. The, uh, the arcs. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get us some arcs. Okay, go. I'm going to really try hard not to collapse this again. I didn't really try hard not to collapse the other one. I kind of just kind of like just built and I was like, eh, it might collapse, it might not. But I just figured if it collapsed, it wouldn't collapse my whole base. Although it came a little bit closer than I was comfortable with. Um, but at the same time, like I was like, oh, if it collapses, it'll make a fun video. And if it doesn't, then whatever, you know? So I was like, to hell with it. And um, it worked out. I mean, it collapsed. We lost some concrete, but um, it did not collapse the base. But man, it came a lot closer than I liked. I was, um, oh man. Alright, we're gonna have to get some more of that later. 
All right, here we go. Uh, we should probably just upgrade this. Are we? Are we? Uh, are we committing? One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Two, yeah, I'm committing. There we go. Okay. Anyway, like I said, I was gonna make these uh, pillar hundreds down here, but um, the fact of the matter is, if I can use uh, the ar the archways, that's freaking cool. So. I'll probably still use pillar 100s in some places, but um, anywhere that I can use, uh, make use of the archways I'm going to, because I, I think the archways just look badass. I was thinking of another. You know what I want? I want an archway that you can do on a one block, you know? Like, the archways take up two blocks, right? I want an archway that goes all the way around and takes up one space. That would be freaking cool. All right, on face. Nope. Let's try on face here. Nope. Alright, whatever. There we go. And on face, maybe? Will it work this time? No. Uh, I'm not sure how to do that. I don't know why it's not working for me. I I'm not, like, super familiar with the rotation block thing, so... But the cool thing is, once you get a set up... You can just uh, copy rotation, so. Yep, and that's what I wanted. And I think that looks cool. I think that looks really freaking badass. Alright, let's do this side. Okay. That side we won't do. Alright, so this one. There we go. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hells yeah, I'll use some lights down here. Maybe I'll put a light in the middle. I don't know. We'll see what we're gonna do with the lights. Maybe I'll use torches down here. It'll, it'll give it like kind of an atmospheric atmospheric feel. I'm not really sure. Um, but I think the next thing I have to do, and I'm probably gonna do this off camera, is I need to come over here and right where my wall is, I need to solidify this entire wall from one end all the way to the other. Once I've done that, I can freely collapse the dirt in here and and not lose stuff. Hopefully. I will I will definitely collapse the dirt on ca on camera, though, because if it collapses major base structures, you guys need to be around for that. All right, well, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm going to call this one here. I will talk to you next time. Till then, take it easy.